Hello everyone, in this video we have to semicircle point O is given as center of the blue semicircle. This length is given as three units. The lines AD and BC are given as parallel to each other. The question is what is the area of the blue semicircle? Okay. First step, if you draw a perpendicular line from center onto the chord, you know that the chord will be divided into two equal parts, right? And this length is also the radius of the yellow semicircle, right? Here is also 90 degrees because of parallel. After that, if we connect these two points, if you notice that, we get an isosceles right triangle. So here must be equal for 45 degrees and for 45 degrees left here. Then if we connect these two points, notice that angle BAC is opposite of the diameter, right? So here must be equal 90 degrees. Then if you focus on triangle BAO, this triangle is an isosceles triangle, right? Because these are also radius of the blue semicircle. So these base angles must be equal 67.5 degrees, right? So 22.5 degrees left here. Okay. After that, let's focus on the triangle. You know that the triangle is an isosceles right triangle, so 22.5 degrees left here. Right. Next step, let's connect these two points. Notice that angle AED is opposite of the diameter. So here must be equal 90 degrees. If you focus on this triangle, if here is 22.5 degrees, it means 67.5 degrees left here. So we get a spatial right triangle. Let's remind you. Let's draw here. Here is 90 degrees, here is 22.5, and here is 67.5. You know that if there is an X unit opposite side of the 22.5 degrees, opposite side of the 67.5 degrees must be equal X times in parentheses root 2 plus 1. Okay. If we apply this property for the question, not that if there's a two unit opposite side of the 67.5 degrees, opposite side of the 22.5 degrees must be equal 2 over root 2 plus 1. Right? I want to represent radius of the yellow circle with R. So these are also R units, right? Okay. After that, if you focus on the triangle, if there's an R unit opposite side of the 45 degrees, opposite side of the 90 degrees must be equal R root 2. Right? So these are also R root 2. After that, if you focus on triangle ADE, for this triangle, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, we get value of R, right? So 2 squared plus 2 over root 2 plus 1 whole squared equal 2R whole squared. Therefore, 4 plus 4 over 
2 plus 2 root 2 plus 1 equal for r square, right? Therefore, if you divide both sides of the equation with 4, so it is 1, it is 1, and it is also 1. So 2 plus 1 equals 3, right? So if you multiply with conjugate, let's clear here. Therefore, 1 plus 3 minus 2 root 2 over 9 minus 8 equal R square. Here is 1. So R squared equal 4 minus 2 root 2. Now there is no need to calculate R, right? Because we will already be using R squared when calculating the value of the semi-circle. Let's create here. Therefore, blue semi-circle area equal pi times r root 2 whole squared over 2, right? So, pi times r squared times 2 over 2. These are again. So, pi times r squared, we had calculated r squared as 4 minus 2 root 2. So, the value of the blue semi circle equal pi times in parentheses 4 minus 2 root 2 unit squared. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and bye bye.